guys, what's up? It's Bex, and I'm back with another video. Today, we are going to be testing yet again the Tear Tear Cushion Foundation. We're gonna be throwing it back a little old school style with an old Chanel palette that I have. Technically, it's an eyeshadow quad, but either way, we're gonna try that out, see how it looks, uh, go out tonight dancing in the Vegas heat, we'll see how it all holds up. So. Without further ado, if you want to get ready with me and hang out and talk and chill, you've come to the right spot. So without further ado, let's get on in. All right, you know what we got to do? First things first, clip this beautiful hair back and get it out of the face. I'm going out with the Killing Time podcast crew tonight. And I'm really excited. So it is, it's a school night, y'all. And oh, I'm um, using the Milk Hydro Grip Facial Primer. I'm going in with that bad boy. Girl, I feel that. I'm filming my makeup video now while I do it. And then I need to take the dogs to the dog park. And I've already got my outfit planned out. So we got this girl. We're going to have a good night. Yes. So definitely excited about going out so of course you know we're gonna go in with the tried and true this is the p louise this is the base in shade rumor 0 0.5 but let's let's zoom on in so you know what i'm doing over here okay i think i'm ready now adhd is getting me all right you know we're gonna go in with a flat brush and if you hear the dogs in the back, they are plum tuckered out. It's been hot out here, so we go outside for little increments of time and they get pooped out real easily, which is good for me because I've been needing naps lately. Just been needing the naps. So I was really excited. My podcast episode just dropped today and I will link it in the description of course and all of their socials so if you could go please support the Killing Time crew they are amazing they're wonderful people and you will love their podcast as much as I do I know that my best friend Tiffany loves the episode so far she said that everyone is funny and she loves it she's here for it so Take Tiffany's advice. Going with the big fluffy brush, just setting down some powder. All right, so for this look today, we're going to do a oldie but goodie palette of mine that I've loved forever. This is, it is the Chanel. And I have to show you because I'm not good with French and I don't know how to pronounce this stuff. And this stuff is from probably 2000 and probably 2010 or 11. <laughs> this was definitely something that I wore all the time, like literally all the time. And I didn't use the brush. I used the brushes that I used was this little, like, you know, those sponge applicators that they came with? That's what I would use. So we're going to see what it looks like without using that. So. It'll be very interesting if I can even, if the color payoff is even there anymore. <laughs> oh, oh boy. So I hope you guys listen to the podcast and I hope that you guys tell me when, when you do and how you like it. If you like them, uh, what are, you can give them some topics too, that they can talk about next time. They, they're really awesome. They're down to earth people like looking down to make sure that I've got the colors that I want. This is just so comical to me. Then I'm trying to do my makeup with better brushes, but I feel like my makeup turned out better when I was using their stupid uh, sponge tip applicator <laughs> back in the day. So work is gonna suck the next few weeks coming up because <laughs> that's gonna suck so bad. We have got an exercise going on at work two exercises and i have to work midnight to 6 a.m for a week straight monday through sunday Mon yeah like seven days a week and then the week after that i have to work 
6 p.m. till midnight. We're obviously all doing this collectively as a team, taking turns with the crappy shifts. It is what it is, but I'm going to be, oh, I'm gonna be doing makeup videos for you guys before I go into work and I'm gonna go into work wearing a full face of makeup. It's gonna be really interesting. I really did think I was cute back in the day, huh? <laughs> Hopefully it shows up nice in pictures and that I look nice in real life. Cause I don't feel like I look nice right now. And it might also be just because this makeup is so freaking old. But I'm just, I'm terrified. Like, do you guys ever have like an emotional support item like this where you just can't tear yourself to get rid of it? Ugh, I can't tear myself to get rid of this. Don't ask me why. Don't, cause it, it makes no sense. It doesn't at all. No sense. And then we'll dust that pink shade. No, I've not forgotten the eyebrows. We're gonna do them last because I just don't want this coloring up on them. And I think it makes my eyes look really pretty actually. All right, so we will save that for when we do the bottom lining. We're gonna go in with We're gonna go in with the NYX. This is the Born to Glow in the shade Pure Gold. Is that what it is? Yeah, Pure Gold. Uh, I saw this thing on TikTok, of course, uh, that said putting bronzer or whatever it is, like underneath your foundation just apparently makes your foundation glow. So we're gonna try that. And apparently it's a good primer as well. So we will see if I look like Tin Man. <laughs> this is funny. This is really funny. Yeah, I look like a bronze statue. That one again. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully this is not a total failure. I am gonna go in though with this Stilla liquid liner here just to, oh, I'm so glad that happened, yay. Of course I just got liner where I was not supposed to. God bless, why is this like the biggest mistake of my life? Like why is this always happening? Like I always tell myself, oh, we can, we can do this, Becca, we can do this. In fact, we cannot do this. Like the tip, like just. <sighs> I don't know, like this, I just don't like it. It's flaky it peels off like it's just like you literally cannot even go over this liner like if you wanted to darken it up a little bit or fix mistakes you literally can't with this eyeliner i i don't know how it's so highly rated i don't know how it's so highly rated on sephora and ulta because it sucks i hate this but usually i just lay it down and slowly just drag it across the line. I think if I keep messing with it, I'm just gonna get more angry at it. So we're not even gonna do that. Whew. All right, now for foundation. <laughs> We're gonna go in with the tier tier foundation. I'm in the shade 21N Ivory, which I highly doubt that I am, but um, I keep testing out this makeup in hopes that maybe somewhere uh, that I'll figure out how to use it and it'll look good on me. I don't know, I'm gonna get my money's worth though. So just pushing down one time. Am I glowing from within? What I learned from the last video I did using this foundation is that 
the concealer that I used definitely did not go well with this, so that was definitely a no-go that I learned. Am I glowing from within yet? It does smell nice though. It smells clean. It almost reminds me of my grandmother doing laundry back when I was little. And she would, in the summertime, spring and summer, always hang her laundry out to air dry and I thought it was the most amazing. I don't know, it just, it always smelled so fresh. Okay, I'm gonna go in though with a little brush like this just to get in these areas where I can't really get in with that sponge. Try not to get it cakey, but all right, we're gonna use, I don't want too much of it. So now I'm just taking this powder and just drawing a line where I want to really make my bronzer pop out. I want it to pop out above this. And then obviously, like, let's do brows before I forget. I mean, it does kind of give me a shimmer. Like I can see like the, I can see the glow coming through, but that kind of looks weird. They're gonna laugh if this comes out really funny in pictures. Oh, the setting powder I'm using is the Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder in Pink Haze. All right, let's do bronzer. We're gonna go in with the NYX. This is the Buttermilk Bronzer in the shade Deserve Butter, B-U-T-T-A. But this goes on like silk, y'all. Like, I am loving this. We are going to use a little liquid blush though because I really do like this blush. It's from Rare Beauty. It's called Joy. Dust that off. Actually, I'm going to go in because I need to do my nose a little bit. So I just need to, just very lightly. See, there's that hair. I knew it, I knew it, I knew I would find it. I was like, I just need this. And I knew I would find that hair. We're gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill Becca Cosmetics highlighter. We're gonna use the shade Champagne Pop. I'm just gonna dust it lightly in here. Cause I really want a moment of some inner corner beauty. So just using like a, a brush like this really helps diffuse it, but then also concentrates it where you would like it. I keep feeling hair. Like this is gonna drive me up the wall tonight. I 
because tonight I don't want to look like a total blaze donut, so. Have you guys ever had it to where you're having a really great day, a really great week, and then, like, I don't know, you start thinking about, like, something sad, like your ex, and you're just like, hmm. I'm in that stage right now, and I don't know why. It's very annoying, though. All right, so now we're gonna go in with the Morphe Continuous Prep and Set setting spray. Cause we're running late. I need to take the dogs to the park. I need this to set. Ugh. Times like this, I wish, the only time that I wish I had a man is when like I need to do two things at the same time. That's it. It's the only time. I'm, not, I'm good, I don't need it. But we're gonna try out this again cause this looked really good last time. This is the Sachu. I don't know how you pronounce this. I don't know how you say it, but it's in the shade mauve. And I actually liked it. All right, I think I'm gonna have to go to the dog park like this because <laughs> I'll have to let it dry. Uh, I'll do my hair real quick, I think. All right, I'm gonna go do my hair, get ready, take the dogs to the dog park. Uh, uh, I will be back. I like the way this looks so far. However, uh, it's just a really funny um, that it didn't seem to blend as well as it used to be when I was using that sponge tip applicator, so. All right, guys, I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, it is evening time, Bex. <laughs> And I'm back. I had a fun, had a really fun night out with some friends from the podcast. We listened to Rex Spin here in Las Vegas. If you guys are here in Las Vegas on Wednesday nights at Davidoff of Geneva, it's a cigar lounge. He is spinning and it's a great vibe and a great crowd. And honestly, I had a lot of fun tonight. So I'm glad I went out. But let's talk about the reason that we are here still. <laughs> It is the makeup, the um, the lip liner. Obviously, that stain lasted really well. So did the Jeffree Star Lippy. It looked really great. Um, honestly, the way that I did this foundation this time, it really stayed. Like, there's a lot of staying power. Um, I don't feel that it's too terribly cakey. I think maybe I'll do just push it in a little bit less. Um, the only thing that I'm not liking is is that bronzer underneath because I feel like it just enhanced all of the texture on my skin. And so I'm not very happy with that, you know, but the payoff though with the bronzer still staying and looking good, the blush still looking really great, um, the highlighter looking great, um, the eye look though, however, it's starting to fade a little bit. It's not looking the best. Um, it's clear, honestly, I think I need to get a brow gel to hold things in place because things are just, they looking like a hot mess, y'all. But the eye look is definitely, uh, it's pretty, but it looks just like one big <laughs> mess, which is kind of what it looked like when I was doing my makeup with the sponge tip applicator. So I definitely using the foundation as a concealer underneath my eyes actually looks a lot better. There's not a lot of movement underneath here. There is just a little bit right here, which I think is from, there it goes, is just from the liner and just my eyes watering a little bit, but really there's not a lot of disturbance, which is nice. I, I didn't feel cakey at all being out in the Vegas heat tonight. So that was nice and it looked really pretty in pictures. So using this, the blurring powder, the pink is really great. However, I'm not going to use that bronzer underneath. I don't think for me, that's a good hack. It just really, you can see it's just, it's enhanced everything. So, um, <laughs> So I really do like it. I'm slowly learning how to use this cushion foundation. It's definitely in my rotation of foundations that I'm going to be using, keeping. 
I think that I'm going to eventually need a different color, a different shade. I wish that they had a better shade matching, you know, just a better a better way to do it because when buying online, it's very hard. So I wish they had a comparison of, hey, if you use this type of foundation in this shade, these are your best matches. I wish they did something like that. I'm pretty sure Sephora does something like that or I remember one of them one time. Somebody did it somewhere, but other than that, I'm loving it so i'm gonna stop rambling guys i appreciate you guys if you made it this far to the end of the video i am here for you guys whatever looks that you want to see me try next um this palette is definitely <laughs> i'm gonna keep it however it's just it's not gonna be in my rotation love to try to find colors that are similar to this because i would like to do a look because the, these colors really do bring out the green in my eyes however this this one's just not not hitting it anymore and it's potentially because it is from 2010 so <laughs> that could probably be it as well but thank you guys so much for joining me here on this get ready with me and i love you guys so much be sure to subscribe to the channel before you leave come on and join the dollhouse we are happy you're here give this video a thumbs up and comment because again it helps the algorithm helps me stay in rotation in the in the queue or the algorithm with youtube so and also be sure to check out my socials i'm definitely following back you guys follow me i follow you back i got you guys so all right i'll see you guys in the next video good night okay we'll have a bob moment it's like a hair straight hair oh yeah i have an amazon package on my porch whoops